Hi, welcome again to Chef Tips UK. Right, Chef Ricky again. Today we're going to be cooking steak. Simple, eh? But I bet there's loads of you who have cooked the steak and it's been tough, it's been chewy, there's been no moisture in it. I'm going to give you a few pointers on how to cook a steak pretty well and hopefully it'll be lovely, tender, juicy, all the things you want from a steak. Right, so the first thing I've done is when, when I brought the steak, took it out of the wrapper in that, like I've, I've just got this from the shop. Ideally, you want to go to a good butcher's and get one, but either way, you want to get it out, drop it on a plate, and you just want to let it come to room temperature. This is really important because if you cook it from the fridge, it's going to cook really unevenly. So I've had this here, I've not seasoned it, I've not put oil or anything or anything on it, right? It's just literally the steak on a plate. Now I've got the pan on here, I'm just going to bang it up high and just let it come warm up a bit because that's another thing, we want, the, we want the pan to be really hot. Unless it's smoking, we're not going to be put it, putting it in. And we're going to season it just before we put it in. If we, had, if we add salt to that now and let it rest for like 10, 15 minutes and then put it in, what that salt's going to do, it's just going to draw all the moisture of that steak out. And then when you come to cook it, you're going to cook it, eat it, it's got no moisture in it. So that might be one of the things you're doing wrong. So this should take just a couple of seconds to come up to room temperature. I've had it on low. Right, so our pan's been on for a little bit now. It's starting to get really hot. And I don't know if you can see that. You can, I can feel it. Yeah. Um, that's hot enough now, we're on gas, right? So then all we're going to do is we're going to add a touch of olive oil to it. And then now we're going to season the steak, right? See that's starting to smoke a bit now. We're just going to season both sides, fresh sea salt, and then Drop that steak in there. Always drop a piece of meat, if you're cooking it in a pan, away from you and lay it down away from you. you can hear how hot that pan is now. I'm just going to wash my hands. Now what we're going to do, if you just come up to me a little minute, is we're just going to cook this for about 30 seconds each side and keep rotating. So I'm not going to cook it for like two and a half minutes one side, then two and a half minutes another side, 30 seconds each side, keep rotating. That way, it's always cooking, because when you flip it over, that top bit's still gonna be cooking. Right, so I'm gonna flip this steak over now. That's gonna seal that side in, but this side's still gonna carry on cooking. It's not perfectly coloured yet, but by the time we've hit, flipped it around a couple of times, it will be. And I want you to get this steak a good sort of medium rare. Now, the best way to cook a steak perfectly to what you want, rare, medium, well done, is to use a food probe. I've got some experience cooking steaks, so I'll just use my fingers. I just, I just press it and I just go by how firm the steak is. Um, that's something you can do at home if you want. I just sort of do this sort of rare, medium, well done sort of thing. It works for me, but you know, everyone's different. The best way is to get a food probe, and you know, you sort of want in 50 degrees for rare, um, 60 degrees for medium, 70 for well done. But what you want to do, I'm just going to turn this steak over again, is you want to sort of take once, if you say wanted to cook a rare steak, you take it out at about 47. Because that's going to go up a couple of degrees whilst it's resting. There's another thing we're going to talk about, the importance of resting the steak. So if you wanted medium, 57 degrees, take it out, that'll rest. Get up to about 60 and that'll be perfect. So we turn this again and it's coming along nicely. It's, uh, we don't want to touch the pan too much. We're just literally just going to let it cook.
like I say, just flipping every like 30 seconds. Right, so I'm just going to flip this tape again. As you can see now, we're getting some really nice colouring going on. That is lovely. Look at that fat, so nice and crispy. That's exactly what we sort of want. Now I've got a sirloin here, um, but this will work with rump, ribeye, uh, fillet. You kind of have to cook a little bit differently because it's so thick. You kind of want to finish, finish them in the oven, but for just like a sirloin rump, uh, ribeye, perfect. And you know you can cook so many meats just just like this: um, lamb rump, you know, chicken breast. In it's just easy, it's so easy. But that just get into that habit of just keep turning it over. Right, so I'll, I'll turn this a couple of times. I've been cooking for about four or five minutes now. I'm starting to feel it's got a bit of resistance in there. I'm thinking like another minute in the pan, that's going to be ready to take out. We're going to bang it on this board and we're going to just leave it to rest. Some great caramelisation on both sides there. Beautiful. I'm going to turn that down slightly. See that? I don't know if you know you can cook like that, but that's that's getting nice and resistant. Another splash on that side, and I think that is good to go. Now we're just going to dispose of this pan. We're just going to chuck it outside for now. Right. So we've cooked the steak. Now we're just letting it rest. This is the most important thing. If I'm just slicing into that steak now, it, it, just don't do it. When you cook meat, all meat, no matter what meat it is, when it's cooking, it, it's put under intense heat and the meat reacts to that, it contracts, it gets really tight and that's why your meat is sometimes tough. Once, you, once you've stopped cooking it, it can, the meat starts to relax and that's why you should always meet, let meat rest just so it's really nice and tender when you come to uh, eat it. Right then, so we're back here. I've let this steak just rest for about five minutes. As you can see, we've got some juices coming out, some sun come to the top. I'm just gonna give this a little slice, just on the angle. And I mean, I mean, look at that, look at that. I mean, that is just... That's exactly, you go and order a steak medium rare, that's exactly what you want. Look at that. I mean, just I'll just pull these apart a bit like that, look. I mean, I mean it's as simple as that. I mean, I mean, I'm just going to have to, I mean, oh. That is so nice. I mean, that is literally a piece of shop brought meat not even from a butcher's, letting it rest, keep turning it, constant turning it whilst you're cooking it, not salting it and leaving it, and that is how you cook a perfect steak. Tune in again next time and we'll be cooking something else. Like this video, subscribe to the channel if you want to hear more, and if you've got some ideas what you want to see me cook, drop them in the comments below. It's great to be having you, and until next time, keep on chefing.